Hello, High Street friends. We're gonna take a little bit of a walk today, but I want you to listen carefully. I think you can hear it. <laughs> the organ tuners are here. <laughs> so, I'm trying to be relatively quiet, and I took my piano music to yet another piano in this building. Yes, we have multitudes of them. Um, so, I chose my music, and then I went, there's a piano in the parlor. Oh, sorry, tried to chop my whole face off. There's a piano in the parlor uh, that I use today to, to play for you. So yeah, new scenery. Um, and I'll apologize for all the playing with my hair. It's obviously way past time for me to go see the hairdresser. I feel like the sheepdog. For those of you that remember the old movies, um, the shaggy DA and the shaggy dog, I feel like that. So hopefully by the time we get to next Music Monday, I won't feel the need to be constantly pulling my bangs out of my eyes. <sighs> Um, <laughs> so those of you who follow High Street regularly know that right now we are in the midst of our stewardship month. And uh, I know many, many people, um, when you get to that point in the year, kind of roll their eyes and, oh, it's the money ask and it's time to dig a dig deep in the pockets and the church needs your money too. All of that, yeah. Heard that, been there, thought that, it's okay. Um, but as your church organist, this is one of the times of the year when my uh, mischievous side tries to sneak out. So I have controlled myself as far as what music I play in service. Um, but I just gotta. So, so there's a hymn. It's called I Surrender All. I'm not kidding. Every year, I so badly want to play this on like consecration Sunday or whatever when we all commit our pledges for the year and everything I so badly want to play it because I think it's funny <laughs> just just the title I surrender all you know um but <laughs> goofiness aside I actually really love the message uh in this hymn and just as you even think about the text Surrendering all to Jesus, all to Jesus I surrender, all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. Friends, one of the things that, <laughs> that is really cool about our faith and about, um, about Jesus and about living with Jesus in your heart, it's cool and it's hard um, because what Jesus asks is exactly this, what this hymn says, all, all of us. He doesn't want to just be Lord of part of your life, just the part of your life that um, maybe goes to church on Sunday or Bible study on Wednesday night. He wants to be Lord of all of it. So Lord of who you are when you're watching Monday night football and who you are when you go out with your friends on Friday night and who you are when you're at work and the things that you think about and dream about, um, you know, when you go to bed at night, how you act with the people on the street and the kid at the grocery store, all of the things. He wants to be Lord of all of those things. And so when we commit to being a Christian and, and you pray and you ask the Lord into your heart, this is what he's after. There's a story, um, and I didn't look up the scripture before I came and sat down. I'm sorry. We can look that up later. Maybe I'll do that before I publish this and I'll stick the scripture reference in the, the description. Um, but there's a story of Jesus is out, you know, wandering the countryside and doing ministry and doing his thing. And there's, there's a, a rich kid that comes to him and says, Jesus, what, what do I need to do to be saved? And Jesus first thing is, you know, well, you know, fulfill the, you know, you do the commandments. And he's like, yeah, I know the commandments. I do that stuff. What, what else must I do? And Jesus looks at him knowing that he is rich. Not that rich, I have to pause, not that being rich is a bad thing, but it can be a danger when we have so much. So knowing that this kid is rich, Jesus looks at him and says, give all you own to the poor and then come and follow me. Now what the scripture says after that is that, that this, this young man was downcast and walked away. And it also says that Jesus was sad. 
because this young man was not willing to let Jesus be Lord of his entire life. He wanted, I don't know, I don't really know what he wanted. I guess he just wanted to be, to be saved. He wanted that assurance. I'm going to be saved, yay. And then he wanted to go and just live his life how he wanted to live his life. And I think we get to that place, especially as Americans. Sorry for those of you that are watching from overseas, but those of us that are, that are Americans, we want to be able to just, we want to live our life but we want to know that we're going to be okay. And that's not where Jesus is with this. And so that's one of the things that I love about Stewardship Month. Once we can manage to get past the whole, oh, the church needs money. This isn't just about money. Yes, it ha has to happen. Yay, it's life on this planet. But this is about truly surrendering everything that we are and everything that we have to the Lord to be used in his service. So, so yeah, take the deep theological thing, think through that for a while. Um, I'll go look up that scripture and I'll stick it in the description. Um, if you've got a hymnal at home, go open to page 354 in your 1988 United Methodist hymnal. That's the, the number for I Surrender All. And enjoy this arrangement. I forgot to look who the arranger was. Um, I'll throw that in there too. Okay. Love you. I'll see you soon.